If you came with PSE doors, you will be on bus number one. If you came with me, you'll be on bus number two. If you guys don't need to utilize the latrines, feel free to load these buses at this time. However, keep in mind, this is the only time you will have the opportunity to use these restrooms until we come back. Thank you. <laughs> this is because neither side of the table wants to get up and utilize the latrines for they fear to show a sign of weakness. The microphone you see on the table do mark the MDL line throughout this building and our monitor and record 24 hours a day. So those you standing to my left are saying Congress North Korea, those you standing to my right are still relatively safe with me in the Republic. And for you sir, you're still undecided. So <laughs> once you make your decision, you can go ahead and move. <laughs> Oh no. Out here, and once you turn around, yeah. the window spread it out. Okay. And okay, the rocks I think there's a little bit more than we did. So they ran well, out there, they ran the bucket to the bottom. Get excited! Get excited! Get excited! Get excited! This building, you'll see a two story, 10 tower building. This is KPA Guard Tower number two, and this monitor guess at this time. So once again, please do not point, wave, or gesture towards the north. At the base of the hill, you will notice the multiple white stakes standing one meter in height and spaced out 10 meters intervals. This marks the MDL line throughout Compass Row, as well as a 17 by 5 inch slab of concrete. KPA Guard Tower number 5. It is monitoring us once again, so not to sound redundant, please do not, please do not point our way towards North Korea in any manner. <coughs> if you look out to your front right about your 1 o'clock, at the base of that tree line, you're going to see an elongated blue roof. 150 meters to the left of that blue roof, you may be able to see a small complex of buildings inside the tree line. That is the former Czech and Polish NNSC. However, it is no longer used. Three trees back, you'll see a space at the ground. You'll see a monument surrounded by sandbags. That monument is location of the yellow poplar tree that stood there years ago. That monument replaced the tree stump in 1987. And of course, it dedicated to two officers that died during that incident. Now, if you look to your left, you'll see the village of Kijang Nam, propaganda village. Now, the flag is flying extremely well today. It takes an extremely large gust of wind to get that flag flying. It runs a dry weight of around six to 700 pounds. There's actually metal wire woven through the flag to help support it while it is flying.